I ran a marathon one time. 26.2 miles. That's too far. That's too far to run. As a man, when you run a marathon, you have to put Band-Aids or Vaseline on your nipples. So I'm not making that up, because your shirt will chafe you so badly at that distance. And that should be one of life's easiest decision-making tools, right? Just like... Hey, can I ask you a question? Uh, this thing I'm about to do, is there any chance that it might make blood spurt out of my nipples? <laughs> oh, there is? Oh, I'm not gonna do it then. <laughs> I'm glad I asked, that was pretty easy. Wait, what'd you say? Also, I might poop my pants? <laughs> no, it, man, I already said I'm not doing it, it's fine. <laughs> what? It, oh, it costs $70. I paid them. Oh, yeah, all right, well, I'll do it then in that case. That sounds too good to pass up. Uh, the marathon got its name because a man in ancient Greece ran uh, from the Battle of Marathon to Athens 26.2 miles to deliver the news of the battle to the king, and he delivered the news of the battle to the king, and he immediately dropped dead. That's true. And we honor this man by continuing to run the, the exact distance which killed him. <laughs> Down to the point two, that's rude. You know what I mean? The, the, the king should have been like, this guy's a hero. It's illegal to run that far ever again. We're gonna have a memorial 5K fun run. There's gonna be plenty of water stops. Nobody's gonna have to put anything on their nipples. You get to about the 19 mile mark of the marathon and the people lined up on the side, they all start yelling the same thing. They all start going, you're almost there. You're, you're almost there. Seven miles. I'm seven miles away. Yeah, that's almost there. If you're driving. I'm running, one of my toes just died. My left nipple band-aid fell off. <laughs> Took a piece of my left nipple with it. I'm not almost there. One guy yelled, you're almost there. I looked over, he had a bite of chocolate croissant in his mouth. <laughs>